Alright, I'm going to make some statements. I don't think this is a good idea to go to this 5G. You see this? 384 kilobytes per second, 100 megabytes per second, 10 gigabytes per second. Moving to 5G. This is not a good plan. And I'll show you why. Now, I do get a little emotional about this, so I'm sorry. I'll try to <clears throat> to speak clinically here. Now, it, what penetrates the Earth's atmosphere? What does the Earth let in? Well, it lets in, yes, to these radio waves, which are, you know, big, long, sort of lazy waves. And then, as it starts to get into the microwave range, it sort of doesn't let them in. And then it says, absolutely not in the microwave range, which is the exact same range that they are going to flood the environment with completely flooded you cannot escape from it and their kids cannot escape from it and the, the the fetuses that are being developed cannot escape from it and animals can't escape from it and plants can't escape from it and nothing on earth can escape from it once they start to flood the earth with this and the earth says don't bring it in here well, well why you know what happens in a microwave oven all right it just, it just rips the molecules to pieces now this oil well is not going to be that 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 much um, power. Well, that's okay. It's still going to be shaking the molecules. I don't care if it shakes them, if it rips them and tears them, you're going to burn up. Well, obviously, they're not going to go that high. But they are going to try to push this through the atmosphere, which does not want it to go through the atmosphere. That's why they're going to have to put up so many cell towers. It does not want to go through the atmosphere. Anything of moisture it, 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 it stops it. it says no, no 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 don't come here don't, we don't want you here that's the key and they just said well no problem we'll just override nature and we'll just spit it all over the place and we'll have a lot more um, video games big 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 mistake yes you can come in radio waves no microwaves allowed infrared yeah you let you warm up visible light absolutely Ultraviolet, X-ray, gamma, uh-uh, going to hurt you. Stay out. The Earth knows, and we think we can just do anything we want, and it'll all be fine. This will lead to some serious, serious health issues, and I'll show you why I can say that. ...powerful 5G technology throughout the United States. However, some studies show a link between cell phone radiation and cancer. Dan Cohen has the story. The race is on among cell phone providers to upgrade to fifth generation wireless technology, or 5G. That would require installation of new equipment across the U.S., a gargantuan effort every wireless company is already working on individually. 5G uses high frequency waves that support faster speeds but don't travel as far, requiring a network of antennas built in closer proximity than the existing infrastructure. Wireless companies plan to use light poles, street lights, anything to minimize their expenses. But health experts worry about potential risks associated with exposure to radiation from cell phone antennas. Cell phones emit low levels of radio frequency energy, or RF. In 2011, the International Agency for Research on Cancer identified RF fields as, quote, possibly carcinogenic to humans. A study in Sweden found that Swedes who talked over cell or wireless phones for over 25 years were at three times the risk of developing glioma, a brain tumor that is often malignant, than those who use them for less than a year. And in March, a large-scale lifetime study of lab animals confirmed a link between cell tower radiation and cancer. The animals were exposed to levels legally permitted by the United States Federal Communications Commission. I discussed these studies with Dr. David Carpenter, director of the University of Albany's Institute for Health and the Environment. They show a very significant increase in glioma and glioblastoma, only on the side of the head where you use the cell phone regularly, and increasing with risk and the longer you use it. They also have some evidence that the younger you are when you start to use the cell phone, the greater the risk. Carpenter said these risks can be avoided by using the speaker function. All right. He's talking about the old style technology. They have already discovered that it's causing, apparently, cancers. Now, uh, so let's listen. Or an earpiece and keeping the phone a short distance away from all parts of the body. 
But the 5G rollout will effectively expose the entire population to dangerous effects. The rollout of 5G is very frightening because what this is going to do is place a mini cell tower every 300 meters along every residential street in the country. And that's going to mean that nobody is going to be able to escape the radiation that comes from those 5G devices. If you walk down the sidewalk, if you live in a house there, uh, you're going to be continuously exposed. Countries like China, Italy, India, and Russia have far more stringent regulations over cell tower radiation. Well, I'm, there's no sense to go any further with this, but they do. Have, and they also don't like GMOs. They understand the dangers that these things uh, possess and are imposed to us as a society and as a, a race, as a human race. These are not the things that are, are, are sent down from the heavens. This is not something that is supposed to be hitting us. <laughs> this is not something that is correct. This is a serious mistake in my, my point of view. There's nothing wrong with what we got now. It's, it may even still cause cancer, but it, what, what we're heading into could be a very, very, very bad place needs a tremendous amount of research before this well it, it, I don't think there's any way it could be used safely because it's just not supposed to be here. that's my opinion and I, I really can't see a way around it All right I think it's uh, this needs a much better look at what 5g might potentially unleash now, this was experiments done by uh, Guido Ebner and Hein Schurch exposed cereal seeds and fish eggs to electrostatic fields, in other words, to a high voltage field in which no current flows. So they're magnetic fields surrounding high voltage. Well, actually, they're not high voltage because I read the whole thing about it and it's not that high voltage. So now, what did they do? They, they It changed the way these these little creatures developed and uh, they think it's fabulous because they, they turned them into huge gigantic creatures and they think they can feed all the people on the earth because they're going to be gigantic creatures inside of electrostatic fields um, you can read the whole research on this now they did all these things and that and that and it showed, I mean it was very serious very serious research in 1992 uh, a Swiss pharmaceutical company Novartis is what it's called now um, patented this and um, stopped the research on it. Now, it's recently been reinvigorated, it appears. And uh, But anyway, let's get to the cut to the chase. And, you know, they, they, they're creating fish. Look, they're one-third larger, heavier, fleshier, stronger. I mean, it goes on and on. They're, they're creating corn that grows in four weeks instead of seven months or so, some silly thing like that. Or wheat, I forget what it was. But it's, it's unbelievable what they're claiming now. I don't know. But it doesn't sound good. They've done a ton of research. So something is going on there. Now, let's just cut to the chase here. Here it is right here. Now, this is where I come in. A further obje ob object of the present invention is the provision of a method which modifies the specific stress reactions of fish in desirable and useful manners, especially such that the treated fish are more robust and reach adulthood faster. Now, if these statements are true, this is significant. This is not any silly little, oh, you guys silly. No, absolutely not. This can be, something's going on here, because they show a lot of research on this. Now, thus, for example, it's possible to reduce very substantially the susceptibility of fish to disease and all these things they're talking about, um, which they, they think is all good stuff. Hence, the present invention also relates to fish whose specific reactions to specific dress, stress parameters are modified in a desirable and useful manner by method of this application. And it goes on and on about what they're doing to them. And it says they, they exhibit increased resistance to pathogens. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but it could be. Maybe the stuff that they're, they're ra irradiating them with, they're killing the pathogens. <laughs> no. I mean, something's going on. Let's just be serious. I mean, I laugh and I do this. That's just the way I am. All right. More particularly, it's an object of the present invention to provide a method of vitalizing fish, which comp comprises of exposing fertilized fish eggs electrostatic field without the flow of current through them. 
adjusting the field strength. And now listen to this, to only these values, one volt per centimeter to 10 at five volts per centimeter, and maintaining the electrostatic field until a juvenile fish hatch or mature. The fertilization step can, of course, be carried out in an apparatus and in an aquarium and all that. And they talk about this. And they go, it, I mean, this is extremely detailed research. Uh, and if it's true, and it does appear to be true, I mean, from what I could determine, this is not just somebody running their mouth about something that isn't factual. Uh, so that's all I can say now. Um, but the point being is, there's a tr there's a big, 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 big reaction to this this stress levels of of um, electronic vibrations. I think this needs a hell of a lot more look at before this can... I mean, we know that they're getting cancer on the side of their head, they're using it on the phones on the, from years ago, haven't got this kind of radiation. Now we're going to be pouring this thing, not onto your head, but everywhere you walk. Every bit of your body will be exposed to this. And they're going to try to force it as far as they can get it, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think this is good. That's my feeling. I think it should be looked at before it becomes widespread because once it's widespread, there's going to be issues, in my opinion, could be wrong, but if there are, what are you going to do then? Alright, this is uh, Love Nature and it's Water Has Memory. And I'm going to leave it at this, but this is, um, this has got to be taken more seriously. And these are the kind of things that the scientists in the Western countries, oh, that's just all pseudoscience. That's all they don't know what they're talking about. They don't investigate. They criticize. They ignore. And this will lead to our demise. To what extent is water capable of picking up information? What does it perceive? And how does it remember it over time? The Aerospace Institute in Stuttgart has discovered a relatively simple way of making the structure of a drop of water visible. The researchers have had their efforts rewarded by insights into a very beautiful world. Each drop has a face of its own, unmistakable and unique. Why are the individual drops so different from one another? We got a lot of people to come to a lecture bowl here at the Institute, gave them all the same water, had them make drops at exactly the same time, collected all the drops, and then discovered that each individual produced different images from the same water. And here you can see the results. Here on the right you can see that the images of the individual students are different, but those made by a given student are all quite similar. This is the work of the first experimenter, this one here from the second, this from the third, and this from the fourth. Individually they can quite easily be reproduced, but you would never have thought that they were all from the same water, because when you compare the images from the different people, you see some big differences. Then we undertook experiments to find out whether things changed when we put something into the water. A real flower was placed in the water. A while later we took a drop of water, and here you can see one of the pictures. And you can see it in this picture. It's the typical image you get when you put a flower into water. You could recognize the flower in every single drop in this glass, of course. That can be reproduced and has significance. And if you were to put a different flower in here, for example, a sweet William flower, then all the drops of this water would look like sweet William. All right. I don't see any reason to go much further with this. There's a, there is a extreme biological significance to water and our chemistry and water has a certain frequency that is the, the the distance in the molecular orbitals is just such so that microwaves shake it enough to heat it up and cause it to to, to destruct in, in uh, well, to heat up and, and dissipate all that water and change its molecular formation into steam. I don't care what you do. You may not change it into steam, but you're going to shake it around. I don't care how you, you cut this. And you can't, get, you can't escape. Your kids can't escape. Your pets can't escape. And they want to put these towers up like every 300 meters, something like that, because they're forcing this into the atmosphere. Not a good move.